What's up, babes? Didn't see you there. Just joking. Don't you love when people like do vlogs like that? We're like, hey, I didn't see you there. It's so cheesy, right, Nyla? But it's still funny, right? Look how cute this outfit is. I'm going to my parents today and I'm going to be making something exciting for my family. I went to get everything at the grocery store to make esquites and I've never made like my own elotes at home, but I'm going to make the cup version. So basically esquites is like elotes but in a cup. Um, esquites is just like one of the most like popular snacks that you can get if you guys don't know. But a lot of you guys, I know y'all are like, a lot of y'all are Mexicans and Latinas and you already know what I... Anyways, um, welcome back to the channel. It's kind of nippy outside. Like it's nippy to the point where the nips are coming out. You know what I'm saying? Like get it? Nippy? I'm pretty sure that's why people are like, man, it's nippy out here. Is that a Canadian thing? Like, do you guys say that in the US? Because I don't know. I always say, <laughs> I don't know, but it be nippy outside, girl. Like, today it's so gloomy, and I was just on my balcony, and I was in my shorts, and I'm like, no. If we're going to be sitting in the backyard under the canopy, like, there's still a breeze that's coming. So I put on my... I've had these um, joggers for a while now. Urban Planet. I love Urban Planet. They've actually lasted this... Sorry, baby. I Baby, I know who you're gonna see. Baby cousin <laughs> and sugar and Bentley. You know who <laughs> her favorite is? Her favorite is my dad and Jessica. Auntie Jessie? Oh my god, you're gonna see her? And what about grandpa? <gasps> grandpa? Oh my god, I'm so excited! I'm so excited to see grandpa! I Anyways, let me finish showing you guys my outfit. So I have the joggers. I have this Ardeen top that I am like so obsessed with. It actually got dirty in the, I don't know if my detergent just sucks like shit or I don't know what it is, but my tanner makes like these pink marks. Let me know if you guys experience that. But I did get this ribbed like active kind of material. Um, it's a t-shirt from Ardeen and I'm obsessed. I have this in two colors, cream and then this color. They don't have it on their website, so I can't link it for you guys. And then I did find this um, sweater, actually, at uh, Winners. And I'm just going to bring it because if it's, like, if I'm cold on the top, I hate being cold on my top, too, then I'm just going to, like, throw it over. If I get hot, just take it off. But how cute is this outfit? Like, I'm feeling the whole, like, throwing a sweater over kind of outfit, like, the preppy look. I feel like it looks so cute. I'm going to show you guys in the mirror. I feel like it looks better. I love how it looks. It just looks so freaking cute, so relaxed, but you don't have to tie it. You can just like leave it like open, but I feel like it looks so cute. I've never been into like throwing a sweater over, but now it's like come back into trend. And guys, I came to eat inside because there's bees everywhere and they keep coming to my plate and I can't stand them. So I'm like, you know what? Y'all enjoy it out here in B-Town. Wow, literally. I can't do it. I have steak, shitties, and rice, and I cannot wait to make the esquites. I can't wait. I warmed up the well my dad warms it up in the barbecue I've just mixed some uh, mayo sour cream salt a little extra butter while wow, these cups are kind of big and like everyone wants to try them so we're just gonna a little bit of sour cream over top Ooh. a little bit of cilantro and then we have some chili powder put some chili powder over top and it was like a 7 out of 10 Sis before. Sis likes it. And with the cheese, it's like a 9.5. Yeah, we come outside and, and I'm like, Amy, do you want more cilantro? And then she's like, yeah. I go inside, I'm like, oh. I knew something was missing. Guys, I forgot to put the queso fresco. Oh I knew God. something was missing. And now I have a whole thing. So it's much better with it, eh? Yeah. I'm dying because this is what happens when you come home from your Portuguese parents' house. You get a whole bunch of kivs fresh from the garden. You get shitties. 
You get shrimp patties. Those are my freaking favorite. Oh my god. The ones of Comarão are my favorite, favorite, favorite. It's funny because people have different names for these. I've heard that these are called risoj. Um, we call them pastaj de Camarão. That's what we call them. Or like pastaj de bacalhau. But I don't like the bacalhau ones, which are codfish. And I have a whole freaking bag of tomatoes. And it's so funny because he's like, Steph, he always asks me, Steph, would you want some of these like different vegetables? And as soon as you say yes, he will literally start growing a whole ass farm of that one vegetable if you say yes. So I'm like, dad, I would take some. But please do not go and plant like five new vines and everyone started dying. I'm also going to make a soup though with these kivs and the shitties. So look what I ended up getting for my what I eat in a day videos. This tripod over here that sticks to my black splash. I just shared it on my stories and I can't believe I did not think of this sooner. I always like to give you guys like a top view. Don't mind my counter. I need to like clean up. But I always want to give you guys like while I'm cooking here, I want to give a top view. So now I'm be able to do that and it's hands free. I don't have to worry about like putting the camera here, putting the tripod over there. Is it going to fall over? Super, super sturdy too. Like I tried pulling on it because the last thing I want is this falling in my food. This is my baby on the way home. She's tired. My baby's tired. Yes, she is. Me and Nyla are coming to pick up our first pumpkin spice of the year. And the way I order it, you guys, it's a lot cheaper. Like this drink is cheaper than the drink I normally drink. But yeah, Nyla's here with me. Nyla girl. She doesn't want to talk to you guys right now. Come to mommy. Good job. Can you sit? So today we're gonna try our first pumpkin spice of the year. It's kind of fall weather today, but it's like summer weather. It's hella humid, but it's like raining. Very strange. I'm actually wearing a top that I'm gonna be showing you guys in a fall haul. I freaking love this top. So many cute fall looks I'm gonna show you guys. Hi, I have a mobile order for Stephanie. Try some? No, you're not. They always ask her if she wants a puppuccino, and I'm like, no, we don't, we don't get that to my girl. I brought my own oat milk because their oat milk tastes like shit. And I'm definitely a pumpkin spice girl. I wasn't like, I want to say, I think I've been a pumpkin spice girl the past two years. I want to say it's just so good. It's definitely not for everyone because it's very cinnamony. Oh, speaking of that, it says on the app it's official. Our the cinnamon and nutmeg flavor you guys love is back in the pumpkin spice and i'm like does that mean that they went back to the old sauce because last year y'all they really upped up on the sauce like something changed even everyone was saying it. if you're a pumpkin spice lover you know what that shit tastes like and that was just not it i'm excited nyla mommy's excited Hello. Can I get a sleeve and a straw? Yeah. Thank you. Hey, 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 hey. Calmate. Don't ruin this experience for me now. Me with kids. Don't ruin this for me, kids. It's all about me. Yes, we got a good thumbnail. Getting a thumbnail with a dog is like a whole other, you know what I'm saying? But y'all, look at this color. You see that color right there, girl? Like, you better watch it. Yeah, I think last year it didn't even have the color it was supposed to. I'm so happy to share this moment with y'all. Now, this is the original. Oh my God. You know what, Starbucks? You know what, Starbucks? I'm a... Mm, happy pumpkin spice to y'all. Happy fall. Happy spending money at Starbucks. Mmm. I'm so happy to share this moment with y'all. I know you guys are very happy I did too. We'll charge the car, but that's gonna take a little bit. Actually, unless I charge it and take her with me. She's not gonna be patient for an hour. Unless I get her something to nibble on, then she will. It's gonna dirty her car seat though. Oh my God, is this what it's like to be a mom? Like, I, I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my God, what happened to my life when I just have to worry about myself? Like right now, if I didn't have Nyla, I would just go there and just do my thing, you know what I mean? Bro, the next person who asked me about if I'm gonna have a child, I swear to God, yo, it's. <clears throat> but I think I wanna wear this top, but I don't know how hot it's gonna get today, also. 
Um, I did a few updates in my bedroom. If you guys want to see, like, obviously my idea of fall decor. Like, I kind of go fall winter where my place just gets more cozier looking but like I don't add like pumpkins and stuff like that you know what I mean you guys already know like girl why am I even explaining like your leg stuff we we know you too well if you guys want to see like a video of how I kind of like cozy up my place for fall and winter let me know by liking this video or just mention a comment down below like we want to see the decor it's from H&M if they still have it I will leave the link for you guys I love how it has like this little sweetheart kind of neckline. By the way, I'm going to a restaurant called STK with my sister. So that's why I'm trying to decide what I'm wearing. And my hair is like definitely like needing to get washed. But I'm holding it off because I'm going to be doing like a wet, super tight, like not wet, but like a super tight, like really hair sprayed up like type of um, tight, probably lower bun. Where everything's like pushed back, middle part. So I'm like, why am I going to wash my hair for that? Because you have to put like a bunch of hairspray, you know? Me and my sisters are going to a restaurant called STK in Toronto. I am driving. I get a little bit like kind of anxious driving to Toronto. Um, you do have to like put on like your aggressive driver side because they tend to like... You know, they're used to driving aggressive down there. So if you don't do that, you're kind of like left behind. And then I always stress about parking, especially because now I have the Tessie. I'm like, where is my baby going to get parked? Where is my baby going to get Like, I'm even with my, my old car, I was like, where is my car going to safely be parked? I feel like that goes to show how spoiled you are not having to, like, park downtown. Whereas, like, if you live downtown, that's just, like, a daily thing. You know what I mean? I feel like it's just because I'm not used to that lifestyle. I just like to know that my car is, like, safe in its spot. Because in Toronto, girl... The signs be telling you that you can park there and the next minute, you know, poof, your car's gone. <laughs> so that's why I'm like, girl, we better know where the hell we parking. This restaurant, I would say, is fancy. It's definitely expensive. Your steak is like $60 and then you have to like order your sides and stuff. Amy's been, she's like, we have to go. The steak is amazing. The area is in like Yorkville, so it's definitely more high end, more bougie. Um, very clean, very pristine, like it's just a different vibe than like downtown downtown. I feel like I've been saying, I need to clean up my place for like the past like freaking two weeks. And I feel like, like there's just things around my place that just need to get picked up. You know what I mean? Like they're just kind of laying there and I freaking hate that. So I'm going to pick up around my place and then I'm also going to kind of take a few minutes to just be like, okay... What do I want to do in this area to like make it cozy? What do I want to do in this area? The past three days, I have been dropping shit, okay? And that's not like me. Like, I'm not a clumsy person. And my grandma, every time this happens, I always think of my grandma and what she used to say. She always used to say, if you're always dropping things, that she's very superstitious. I'm very superstitious. Like, I believe in this shit. Some of it, not all of it. But she said, if you're dropping shit all the time, like, throughout your day, that means someone wants to talk to you. It's just, like, they don't, like, want to do it, but, like, they want to, okay, they want to talk to you, but, like, obviously they're not doing it. You know what I mean? And every time I drop something, I'm like, if anybody wants to talk to me, just freaking talk to me. Like, please, I need to stop dropping shit because this is freaking annoying. Like, I just went to the bathroom brought my starbucks and now like some of my pumpkin spice is all over the floor like if anybody out there is watching this and would like to talk to me like just decided i was like going through like 15 million different outfits y'all don't even know these are the brand new pants i showed you guys that i got from the bay they're so comfortable and stretchy i tried on like black pants and i don't know i just have such a hard time wearing black like it's really hard for me to wear black honestly it only hits sometimes and then i just put over draped over this um, sweater I actually showed you guys as well in an H&M like little vlogger haul I did and I love that everything is light as per usual and then I have my Yuzefi bag so freaking cute I love this bag so much it goes with the outfit so nice I don't know what I'm gonna wear on my feet because I'm so weird with like dressier shoes I'm always done early you guys like I hate being like in a rush so I'd rather just like start super early get my stuff together get dressed and everything off to Toronto and you're like oh my god, oh my god so we sound so stupid when you go to Toronto you like have to tell everybody I'm in Toronto or when like you travel so somewhere cool. like you're in Cuba and they're like where are you from like Toronto yeah <laughs> bitch you know you're not from Toronto bitch. it's only no, like I the was... last five ten minutes I think it's like seven ish minutes I was telling them I hate turning on that like aggressive driver side of me but every time I come oh, here you have to yeah. you have to turn yeah, that side on yeah. <laughs> we have a story time for you guys and we see this dog just on the corner on all four legs, not even sitting or anything. And we're yeah, all like this. There. 
We're all like squinting like, wait, there's no human with him. Like there's no owner and there's no leash or nothing. And Amy even said, she's like, does yeah, that dog like, not have the leash? owner? But you just stop your car. I'm like, put your hands in like Yeah, I just stopped the car right away. And that's like a busy street, but I don't give a shit. Like there's a dog on the loose. Like if that was my dog, I would want someone to stop just like I did. So then, oh, look at the CN Tower. And then Jessica's like, um, can I get out? I'm like, yeah, Jessica, Jess. I'm like, Jessica the dog's out of place. Jessica gets out of place. I'm like, I'm gonna Jessica go. gets out of place, dog whisperer. Gotta go. He's like, hey, uh, buddy. And he runs to her, like, all happy. <laughs> yeah, oh my God, I'll never forget his face, man. Yeah, Jessica's he was so like, happy hey, and buddy. And he was like, oh my God. Like, he's like, yes, yeah, somebody. <laughs> then she grabs him so that he doesn't get Yeah, she face. grabbed the collar, He, but it's a big ass dog. Like, this dog is massive. Well, so it's a bold to retrieve herself. Yeah, so she was having to, like, really hold it. And, like, he was excited. I don't know, he or she. He was strong. So then Amy's calling the number. Jessica's holding him. I'm in the driver's seat. And I'm like, one of the doors are open. I'm like, I don't give a shit. The test is like, the door is open. I'm like, I don't give a oh shit. I'm going to go park. with the door open. Yeah, but the door yeah, open. Door is cracked open. I don't give oh a shit. God. I have to go park. I didn't want someone yeah. to like, you know, come behind me. This is me on the phone. I'm like, I think I have your dog. <laughs> like, I'm so awkward and I'm feeling so much anxiety. And that's, that's just the first thing that guys. I think I have your dog. The guy was like, excuse me? <laughs> he probably thought I was prank calling him. So I'm like, I'm like, do you have a dog? <laughs> that was my next sentence. Do you have a dog? And he's like, yeah. Just the door open. Like, I guess the door flew open and then he just like left. Yeah. I was so anxious. They said the door blew open. For the door to blow open, they didn't close it all the way. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm like, no, man. Don't do not say sorry. <laughs> yeah, that was my dog. Oh, dog man. The amount of anxiety we had afterwards. Yeah, I think me and Amy had anxiety. I think Jessica was more like excited. Yeah, Jessica was like excited. Dog, and Steph, like, 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 were, like, like, like Jessica was like, guys, we rescued a dog. And me and Amy are like, oh my God. We're like, oh my God. <laughs> that was just so much like, like we're not gonna leave are you freaking nuts man. but oh my god this poor i'm not gonna lie to you like i can really take that off my bucket list like i saved a dog i know like, i really did that <laughs> that was our superhero story now we're gonna go amazing <laughs> for everyone that hasn't seen the cn tower i mean i'm gonna be honest with you like i could see the shit every day if i wanted to but like it still blows my mind every time i don't know why so, yeah we really didn't grow up in toronto so it's like always exciting for us when you grow up in the suburbs and go to the city <laughs> yeah literally and then people that grew up in the city, they're like, it's not that big, but it's, you know, I'm like, listen to bitch, listen here. Lord Jesus, we finally made it. Right, Sissy? <laughs> that was a long drive. No, but we made it. That's so cute. By yourself. The ceiling is so cool, eh? The vibes. Very pretty. I got yeah, Jessica already purpose. knows. She's like, I know she didn't even try. Everybody taking pictures is your friend like this? <laughs> oh my god, that's so much. Damn. Look at these truffle fries. And look at my steak compared to the size of Amy Jessica's. <laughs> and these girls got some desserts. Meanwhile, yes, me. <laughs> I've got a coffee. <laughs> Yo, this bitch has the audacity. <laughs> This bitch has the audacity to turn the plate and kind of like hint to Jessica, like you can have some if you want. And there's Guys, currently what? nothing left. What do you want her to you have? Know, I think I crumb to the left. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> that, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm gonna get you, man. Not me getting soap my freaking legs. Look at the CN Tower down there. We're heading off to Home Sense right now. I love how there's a winners in home sense. Wow, this area was made for us. It's bougie. Guys, we were laughing at how I said that I like bougie restaurants, but then I always complain about how everything's so expensive. <laughs> and Amy was like, yeah, you're a freaking hypocrite. Wow, city life. We came here once before. Do you remember that? Because mom? So we're finding like a bunch of stuff and I just have to know. Like me and Amy were thinking, we're like, how do people in Toronto, like how do you guys come to HomeSense and just, cause like, where do you park? And what if you find big things? Like, what do you guys do? Like call a cab? Like if you live in TO, let me know. Like, I want to know like, reflections like in it hello babes it is friday today yeah it's friday look at what i did to my nose you guys 
I was going in, I was going ham, removing all my blackheads. And what freaking sucks is that my nose is so clear now. Like the pores were cleaned so much. But I was just like going, I remember seeing like a really thin piece of skin. And I was like, oh, maybe that's just dry skin. So I kept going and kept going. And then that night it was like kind of red. I woke up, it was like super, super red. I have polysporin on it right now. And the polysporin has been helping so much because one it's gonna help prevent any infections happening i was looking for like cute butter knives because the ones that i have are like they're just so skinny like the set that i have of utensils so i ended up finding these guys they're so freaking cute forgot to take footage of what this looked like before i cut it but i'll show you guys footage from my phone that i took because i'm doing a reel i ended up finding i wanted to do that mongolian um like pillow and I ended up finding it in like a little floor mat kind of rug. Like you're just gonna like just bring some coziness into my space. I found a new show that I'm like obsessed with. And it's called Insecure. It's clearly been out for a while now because there's four seasons. But I'm so obsessed with it on Crave. I'm like binging it right now. So if you guys have not checked out that show, check it out. Say hi guys. I did ask her to say hi to you guys, so I'll be uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time without my Rudolph nose. Um, and let's just hope that this thing heals properly. Because girl, my nose was looking hella cute, and I just had to go do this to it. Like, oh my god, I freaking cannot with myself. Anyways, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see all of my beautiful babes in my next video.